407 Long Range Patrol Squadron and additional support personnel from 19 Wing Comox recently participated in a friendly competition on Exercise Sea Dragon 22, hosted by Anderson Air Base in Guam. The CAF Squadron won the coveted Dragon Belt Award for top performing crew in the exercise, and today we're joined by Lieutenant Colonel Philip Bohack, Commanding Officer of the 407 Squadron, to tell us more about the effort during this premier multinational anti-submarine exercise. Thanks for joining us today, sir, and bravo Zulu to you and the team on the win. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. What kind of anti-submarine training scenarios did the team take part in for the exercise? So Sea Dragon is geared around kind of a crawl, walk, run uh, format where they begin with uh, flying against some simulated targets uh, and then they progress to a more advanced uh, autonomous underwater target that they then use for the evaluation purposes. And then it concludes with some actual live anti-submarine warfare against a real uh, nuclear submarine. And I understand this is the second year in a row that a Royal Canadian Air Force detachment has won the award. Um, what do you attribute this to? Uh, that's correct. So this is the second time that we've been invited as part of the exercise. Uh, it's multinational and it's kind of uh, in, the, in the format that it is now. Uh, it's for the second year in a row. And we've been fortunate to uh, be able to, to send a crew. And um, I think the fact that we've been able to walk away with the win uh, two years in a row was mostly due to the, uh, the exceptional training that our personnel receive. Uh, they feel prepared for this sort of activity, this sort of integrated anti-submarine warfare exercise. And uh, it speaks to the professionalism and training of our crews and our ability to fight the aircraft that we fly. Absolutely. And could you talk a little bit about the importance of working with our partners and allies in the Indo-Pacific region? Absolutely. The, uh, the Indo-Pacific region is one that's always had a significant amount of interest uh, politically for Canada and militarily. Um, but it's so far away that we haven't frequently had the opportunity to work with a lot of those partners. Uh, so it's a real treat to be able to do that because those are frankly countries that we don't work with. Um, uh, sea Dragon in particular is run by the U.S. Navy, has Australian, but also has Korean, Japanese and Indian participation in it, which are allies that we don't often get a chance to, uh, to operate with. Well, I want to thank you so much again for joining us today. Thank you very much for the opportunity. It's been a pleasure.